open in Sarasota. West Wall Boats, kayak experts selling the only pedal kayaks with a reverse. Pedal forward or backwards. Need a paddle fishing board, SUP, or kayak? You need West Wall Boats, shallow water outfitters. Comfort is king. In a native ultimate angler watercraft, you are king. If standing is your thing, they have paddle fishing boards complete with a Yeti. If you can dream about doing it, West Wall can help get you there. Westwallboats.com. Westwallboats.com. Located next to Giggles on Tamiami Trail, Sarasota. Well, folks, here we are. IFA was yesterday, well, day before yesterday, what am I saying? Uh, of course, the winning redfish was caught, uh, from what I understand, in Longboat Key, because unfortunately, the people just chose not to take advantage of the great waters we have here in Charlotte Harbor. We're going to talk about that in a second. Um, we've got Landlock Justin with us, Justice Lamb. Uh, you've seen some great pictures of him catching big snook out there in uh, South Gulf Cove, redfish, bass, oh, yeah. peacocks, I mean beautiful fishing. Yeah, I get to go down to Miami every now and then, get to do some peacock bass fishing, got that iguana down there, that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> and matter of fact, uh, I got a nice Impact Lore, Ernie down at Impact Lore sent this to me about, about two months ago. And uh, we were going to take a trip and do some peacock, peacock bass fishing, and I'm like, man, I got to give this to you. You're heading down there, so Justin's going to take that with him. It's uh, one of Vernie's top poppers. He does great. We got some pictures at uh, fishyfins.com. Vernie catching some huge <laughs> peacock bass with it. Cool, so, cool. Uh, yeah, hopefully that'll work for Yeah, you. I'll let you know for sure. We'll shoot, we, we should be going on there hopefully sometime this week because everybody, my buddy's got spring break. Awesome. Yeah. So, oh, spring no. break. <laughs> Stay away from the ramps. Stay away from the beaches. It's not your no, yeah, it's true. Fishing in like the homestead area around yeah. there and uh, toward like the airport, Miami Airport International around there and just trying to go on Google Maps and find spots when you, where you can fish and it's a lot of driving around but you can find them. They're just if you speak Spanish, you might find clean. spots a little quicker. Yeah, yeah, but you know that's the truth. You know, you get all over Miami <laughs> right now. Spanish, so so. You're gonna have to learn that. <laughs> but you know, it's, it, you know, it's the truth. You know, every time you see these videos coming up in Miami and South Florida, the peacock bass are getting big. It used to be a trip down to South America if you wanted to go exactly. catch some. Exactly, it's all I so, knew. Yeah, so now you see, know, but I still players. like to do that because those are like you know, thirty pounds, yeah, forty pounds. pounds. That's we only get them four, five, the big one, six. You know, but yeah. Very cool. So yeah, we're looking forward to seeing that. I know uh, some of the video you brought back already is some nice peacock yeah. bash. Yeah, we got a few nice ones. And one. some nice snook all over. <laughs> this guy catches snook like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> That's, That's what we're talking about. Let's start to talking about Charlotte Harbor around here. All these flats that we got that are oh, heating up. Man. We oh, went, yeah. We went that, out there. What were you throwing? That flashy swimmer? The flashy swimmer. Guy. <laughs> yeah, I see it on the again. thing. I, and one oh, video, I'm one telling you guys, you guys need to get I'm one, and all of a sudden, the, the snow slaps, spins, oh, and boom. Me too. There goes my flashy swimmer. <laughs> oh, no. so, me too. <laughs> but yeah, when I went to Bass Pro yesterday, we couldn't, I couldn't, I looked everywhere up and down, couldn't yeah. find him there. I, I haven't been to Frank's yet. Tackle Warehouse. It's an owner hook, but I, the only place I found him is on clearance. Attack a warehouse, so they might be going, going, gone. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't you know, it didn't look like there was a ton of packages when I ordered the first time. I should have ordered as many as I could. Where were you? Where we were at? We were on the West Wall, guys. We're, we're fishing anywhere from that tide marker, halfway point down to Cape oh, Pace yeah. Point. Yeah. Gorgeous area. Frank will tell you. I oh, took him yeah. down there. Uh, what day we go down? It was Friday. 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 Yeah. That's right. Friday. What a week, guys. Aqua Green <laughs> living. Yeah, I went down there with the spoons, and I, we got on the on the edge of. There's actually a shawl, you know, a, a flat that runs up to a shawl there, and on the on the outside of the shawl where it starts to get a little bit deep. Uh, trout were just. I'd actually we were up on the sandbar, and I was thrown out, and I mean the trout. These were the water. so much fun. I mean, these were so much fun to play I like with. This one. Yeah, I mean, fin really, and, and actually, uh, Captain Mike uh, doubled these up. So uh, what happens with them now is uh, when he used to have a single spoon, he puts, uh, you know, you got the pattern on both sides of the spoon, and uh, they weigh a little bit more. Their action is sweet. They actually make a clanking noise when they when they work. And what is that? You can change the hook from a treble hook to yeah. a single. Yeah. Hook. If you yeah. want a treble, you can throw a treble. Yeah, hook they've got it. They single, come rigged right single. now, so you can throw it around a bridge. Mm -hmm. Basically, so you get the single hook, and I think oh, off of uh, piers. The piers got, with the pier rules. You've got to have a single hook on a pier rule. So he hooks them up like this. But he also sends in the package a nice, I'd say, what is that? Probably a number four. Yeah, treble. I don't know. It's a nice size treble hook. It's going to go right back on the back. You can take the single hook off, 
but this thing runs like a swim bait, guys. It runs like this, like that. It goes right through the grass is real nice, and that it really did work very nice. It had a it good beautiful. wobble to it, <laughs> and it's a heavy enough bait, you can sling it. Well, I had a good time. I mean, you could actually work some distance on the flat. You can mm -hmm. send it out there, you know, 50, 60 yards, reel it back. Now, what I did was, now, I didn't work like a Johnson Sprite. I mean, I grew up playing with the Johnson Sprites. Yeah, they right. got a unique wibble yeah, on their yeah. flipper. I worked it like I would a jig. I actually would reel it, I'd let it drop and give it a couple of thumps, and usually on that drop and thump is where I hook the fish. Yeah. And I mean, just did great with it. I had a great time. Sort of uh, like a jig in motion, like we worked the pink jig. Exactly. Yeah, you know. Pink, pink, trout, trout, trout. Exactly. And they were, they were yeah. all over the oh, trout. Man. Was smacking crazy. it, wow. smacking it. And the I trout know. that we caught. Wow. <laughs> you guys will see it. I think I got a picture. I'm, oh, we already posted a picture on our Facebook page with this trout, but that trout was a longer. Oh, it was 23 beautiful. inches. 23 Five and a half nice. pounds. Yeah, beautiful. it was a nice trout. Five pound trout. Well, was, we've seen a lot. Even uh, uh, Josh did great uh, over on the other coast. I posted on fishyfins.com on our, on our landing page. He got, I think that was a 32 inch uh, gator face cap. One of those oh, big that gators. was a nice when he had the bend. Yeah, very beautiful. They get beautiful. gator trout on the other, other coast. Oh, but the Atlantic. We have yeah. a massive gator trout over here, too. Our trout just huge. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, you know, they're all over the flats now. So if you're fishing, you get around midpoint, you get around Cape Hayes. Um, Bull Bay is always good. You know, these guys on the IFA were coming oh, down yeah. here looking for redfish. They went to Long Bay. Glad the guy won. I mean, his whole body won and all. But, I mean, come on. You know, you get around Bulls Bay and uh, Turtle Bay, there's some big redfish in there. Well, the redfish that he oh. caught over around Cape Hayes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the, the one that you'll see on, on video that me and Justin finished up the day with. Now that redfish was the one they wanted to take to the scale because that one was a nice, big, fat tournament keeper. But those guys aren't from around here, so they don't know the areas like we do. Exactly. And uh, how sat in the same and pothole and caught them trout. The thing is, yeah. is me and Justin went by those fish earlier, and we spotted them. We spotted so many fish on the west wall that it was like every few minutes we were spotting big, huge reds. And not only, we've seen a bunch of big crews in snook. snook. The snook are cruising the wall, uh, guys. Uh, you know, we are talking about sharks out there. Tax man's going to pay his. Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. no. oh we, we got taxed out there by the <laughs> sharks. Well, if you're you're running around Cape Hayes now, that's a lot of water. So are you up there in the mangroves? You're out there a couple hundred yards we're out on fishing the flat? The, we're fishing the trough that's up closer to the land. But mm -hmm. there's, you know, there's all, obviously, there's three troughs when you get in this area. There's one up close to the bushes. There's one out by the sandbar. When you jump the sandbar, there's one on the other side of the sandbar. So you've got three different troughs that these fish are going to be running in, depending on the, the depth of the water. I, the, the tournament that went off Saturday, yep, yep. those guys had no water. Yeah, now, I can understand why they ran to Sarasota, okay? <laughs> it was nasty uh, out here. They had, was We had a north skinny, wind that was blowing. Oh, yeah. The temperature dropped about 15 degrees. and. God help them on their run up there. I hope they had a double windshield or something because it was a rough yeah, ride. Right. It was Love bad. You boats. know, an hour and 45 minutes of pure roughness. Oh, so. it probably knock the life out of them. Oh, How did they have a ride out there? Or they earned their, they earned their money. Oh, yeah, you had to. But you know, hey, it was a one in fish, so you know, God bless them. I'm hey, glad they won. Those I'll make that hour and 45 minute run for what is it, 26,000? 26,000. You guys want to split that? Right? Uh, that sounds like a pretty good I chunk could, of change. I could cut that up three ways with no problem. I don't know if my John boat run that far, folks. So. <laughs> now, see, that's the only thing that I know is the IFA, they're all big shots and all that. Spool got big, nice, expensive boats. But the problem with tournaments like that is that when you allow the, uh, you know, the people that enter it to extend out into. 100, 150 miles away. I mean, I flew in from Mexico with my redfish. Um, so, you know, I hate to, you know, there's, to me, there's got to be some Tournaments, guys, you know. aren't, aren't the fun of fishing. That, that, those guys aren't having fun. They're out there. It's like a job. It's to make money. What we do uh, is guys, fun. It's, it's we live in pressure. paradise. We get to go fun fishing every day that we want to. Let me tell you, when I went out there with those Aqua Dream spoons, I had a great time. A fun time. I mean, I really had I mean, the trout weren't gigantic. I mean, the biggest one I got was about 19, I think. Yeah. Uh, so and but I had I must have caught twenty. Well, we were trials. in yeah, schools. Yeah, when, when you yeah, caught one really of them, good. you had five or six of them following you back, back to, to the, the boat. boat yeah. You know. Yeah. So see, the day we went out, the trout just weren't there. They were they were on the flats that day. Remember yeah. we that that one he caught was in water. This deal, yeah. guys. I mean, it was in a foot skinny, of water. Skinny water. We were fishing it really slow at that time. We caught that trout. Yeah, the, real the, slow. The pink jig was almost sitting still. You'll see in the video. I thought I was hooked up on a log. <laughs> and I told him, oh gosh, I can't believe I've got a log out here in the middle of the flats. And I'm like, 
we're gonna have to go up there and get this thing off the log. Just pull and I, up right well, I, so skinny. I had already got on to Justin because we'd done went up in the woods a couple different times for logs. And Justin, <laughs> he loves those woodfish. Those woodfish are pretty. They fight really hard. <laughs> but all of a sudden, when we can start going up there, you'll see in the video. We'll break to that and, and show you that video. But. This, this log started to move. <laughs> <laughs> Truck, I'm taking you with them. <laughs> I was like, yeah, here it goes. So. There That's right. awesome. Well, I tell you what, the fishing plan, I talked to Bill Daniels uh, yesterday, and I told him this week, I mean, we got some great fishing. It's coming up. I think high tides are at like 5.30, 6 o'clock. We got, we got the extra hour at night now. So uh, yeah. I'm definitely, I'm getting out there at least a couple of nights this week, and I want to do some nice uh, evening fishing, some top water stuff. So definitely so post. Yeah, yeah, man, we'll get together this week if you want to. That'd yeah. be awesome. We don't have to flash the sign, do you guys, that March 1st is the opening of snook season. We oh, are yeah. talking the 28 to 33. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Well, you know, those numbers are looking good right now. to get one, though. Well, you know, the, the, the numbers are good. From what I'm seeing, people are pulling slots out now and even over spots. You know, there's some big oh, suckers yeah. out there oh, right yeah. now. So uh, we're going to get out there at night. Uh, good fishing tip now with these low tides. During the day, get in the canals, get in, you know, it's hard to get on the flats, the water, off find dry. some deeper water, Gotta guys. Find deeper canals water. are good. Canals, bro. outlets. I do a lot of, like, you know, I'm gonna go out today and try a couple spots off lane. You know, when that tide gets higher and see what I can do. Hopefully, you know, a little bit warmer today, they'll hit top water. You're getting, you know, good on the bridges, I actually went out to the Punta Gorda Bridge south of Bass Bay yesterday. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You're getting, you know, good on the bridges. I actually went out to the Punta Gorda Bridge southbound bridge, and it was uh, actually two of the trusses before you hit the single. Uh, posts that hold the bridge up or pylons yep. and got a couple of nice sheep out there. I mean, really, yeah. you know, beautiful sheep. And nice. so, so nice sheep on the bridges, on the pylons and the piers, under the docks. My favorite place to cast, guys, go to the conference center, get on that. Oh, is that light going again? Out again? <laughs> <laughs> God, God, every time. God's trying to talk to Frankie about yeah, this. Every lighting. time. Got to improve my it's fishing. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we, we, we know it's present. Okay, so. But you get on that conference, that wall right there in front of the conference center and throw back toward the bridge. I've hung the biggest snook of my life in there. Man. It's, it's beautiful. We went up there yesterday, they just weren't biting. Just, There's a lot of people up there. We that, tried going around in there mm -hmm. yesterday. There's, There's a Daniel's lure that he's okay. I mean, he didn't want to bust it all now, but yeah, he's busting it out. This lure, Richie Roballo, if you guys have been looking at our website at all, Richie nailed a monster Big snow, snow, guys. I mean, all you gotta do is drag this behind the boat and talk about fishing. They're great. Go real slow <laughs> and just wait for the pole to bend. This thing kills them. That, if you guys seen that snook, I think we have a new club that we're trying to create here. That black and yellow. Fishy fins. That's good. Which is the the too big? What what what? Are you way doing? too big. The way too big club. Okay, guys. We 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 want you guys to join the snook craze, which we call the way too big claws. Okay, it's the one you have to throw back. But get a picture with it. Get the Daniels hanging out of its lip. Send it to us. Something good will happen. Something good. You might, we might send you another Daniels if you send us a big old slob like that. The way too big club. I'm telling you. And, and they do. We do great right now. And the Spring Lake ramp is closed, and those waterways are really wide open. I mean, I have pulled That's some right. huge it's snook out of there. Yeah. Water. Two now, years. Yeah, two Dude. years. Oh my God. So I, I know what I think. Yeah, about that. I'm gonna be up there one of these <laughs> evenings. So I plan on putting it at the beach and going right up Spring Lake and hitting the bridges out. And uh, I mean, they're just loaded up with snook under those mangroves. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely get together one evening if you want to and do that. I wouldn't mind throwing some spoons too. Yeah, I did so, not even yeah. think about oh, that. Uh, talk about well, trolling. Well, hold on, Charlotte County. <laughs> Al 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 hold Maria, on, Charlotte so, County. Oh, this is this is going to kill you guys really big time. You got a park that allows you to park eighty some odd boat trailers, and you're not going to allow access to yeah, it for two for years. Two years? Crazy. Now you Who? can't get to the boat ramp. No. Uh -huh. Who's our There's county commissioners in this business now? We're gonna have to name some of these guys by name. That's that's ridiculous. I'm sorry, but you guys, years, you guys better go up there and cut a, a parking lot through <laughs> on that one side. No, you, they, they can't. Yes, yes, they they can. It wouldn't be that hard. Yeah. Yeah. The park I'll tell you what. Side. I promise you, fishermen, right now, Charlotte <laughs> County, you just pissed me off. <laughs> I have one on county commissioners now. Yeah, well, That's a big boat ramp. You're too honest. You'll never make it on the commission. Uh, I'm not, not going to make it on the commission, but I'm going to talk to our commissioners and tell them that they got a problem. 
Well, we're going to keep it fishing for now. <laughs> and they do have a problem. The problem is I'm going to be up there fishing for snow because there ain't no traffic coming through there. Exactly. So I'm taking advantage of we it. We just so. paid for that boat ramp, guys. We paid with our money to put that nice boat ramp and park in. we got to have access to it. Well, maybe I'll take the slippery off it so that'll work. Wow. I don't know they're going to do that. Canal snook fishing, get in there. There's plenty of water in the canals. If it's low tide, you know, get up under those mangroves. The redfish are laying on the on the outlets of the canals, the banks, the the, the oyster uh, bars at the end of the canals. Get on them. You know, you know what's going on. Did you see us head toward that oyster bar oh, yeah. on Friday? Yeah, and I knew. Sure I said, Frank's not going to be able to follow us up in to in this there. oyster <laughs> bar. The oysters were sticking out of the water like this high. Yep. And as soon as I got up close enough, boosh. Push the nice little uh, red school off yep. of it. They're all but they're oysters. up there, guys. They gotta go fishing, guys. It is just dynamite out there right now. It, it is picking up real quick. It's <laughs> been great. You no know, shoreline fishing, boat fishing. You know, you're in the canals, you're on the flats. Probably doing the best on the flats, like Chris said. Now I'm going across to the east side. Um, I want to fish uh, Redfish Key down to Pirate mm -hmm. Harbor and Smoky Joe's in that area that's pretty hot right now. I'm probably going to put him constantly on and just shoot down there yeah, sometime. that's what we do all the time when I go out with Colby. You know, oh, we go down nice. east side, but. So we're going to hit that a little bit too this week, but uh, definitely get on the flats, have some fun, get some trout on. Definitely, I mean, guys. you're going to have a good Gas time. Up. It's going to be your cheapest smoke. too. It's going to be your you're cheapest everywhere. gas right now to go out on the flats. It'll probably be one of your cheapest fishing trips that you're going to get out of it. It's a nice breeze. You know, you know, nice breeze. All you got to do is shut down the motor and drift across the whole area and off you go. So, yeah, definitely get out there. Uh, we're probably going to have to wrap it up pretty quick because uh, we've got a lot of stuff we need to do. And uh, so we're going to get out. We're going to do a little fishing. I want to get together with Chris, hopefully, in about a week or so. I haven't gone out fishing with Chris just on his boat in, what, a year? It's been, uh, it's been a long time. We, it's getting we busy, guys. Out. Paradise is heating up. Uh, oh, yeah. You guys with the snow shovels are coming down here real quick. Yeah, it's. I mean, even the ramps are crazy. Getting out there on the ramp, you're waiting in a while. Even some Tuesday. 92 million people in yeah. Florida right now, guys. That's... A lot of people. So, you know, come on down anyway and spend some money. Go come fishing. On. It's paradise. That's why people are down here. Our weather is just gorgeous right now it's ready to go it's nice we got late days so uh, we're gonna have some great uh, evening video we're gonna have some great snook video hopefully sun, some, sun, some, sun. some daniel's deceivers dragging in some big snook I'll so you want to throw one today oh uh, we're gonna like so we're going out so we'll be back next week with some great stuff so stay tuned check it out fishyfence.com thank you sir thank you mr justin yeah justin